Tov, Shalom, Malachava, good evening, welcome to our um, advanced Hebrew class. And uh, this, this evening we continue with the preposition me um, up here. And so let me turn my phone down. So, <coughs> So this is the preposition me, right here. So it's a uh, me and nun sofi me. And uh, we shared with you last week. We gave you this form. We also gave you this form.
Give me just a second. All right. It's also versatile. It can be used in different forms. That it can be used as a comparative. As a superlative. And as a partitive. Hola, ¿cómo estás? La hoja va. Okay, so what do we mean by comparative, superlative, and partitive? Okay, these are called grammatical constructs. Put it up here. These are called grammatical constructs. Now the word cons construct, to construct means to do what? To build. To build, okay, <laughs> so you're building something grammatically through, through grammar. You're building something, in other words, you're building phrases, you're building sentences and such as that. So you're constructing. One of the things about constructs is, if you remember, we talked about the noun construct. Um, one of the things about the constructs is that um, you're, you're using more than one word to bring out an idea, to give information. So that's why the construct, so you take this word and you take this word and you put them together and you have the full idea. In fact, the, we're studying prepositions. Preposition, preposi the preposition is the head of a prepositional phrase. Okay, um, and then you have the object of the preposition. Uh, what it, what the preposition is is uh, talking about? Okay, or where, where what the preposition is pointing to? Maybe I should say better. Um, and so that's a, the prepositional phrase itself is a construct. What you you have several words that are tied together that are formed together to bring about an idea to give you an idea, to communicate with you. And so this is a construct, it's putting several words together, not just one word, but you have two or more words that are put together to build, in order to build. So you have grammatical constructs. So, you have comparative, you have superlative, and you have partitive. Okay, so comparative would be, what do you suppose comparative would be? First. To Compare. Compare. Very good. All right. <laughs> See, if you just look at the word, it's not really a trick. The word tells you what it is. So, what, do you, what, the, what then would be superlative? Superhero. <laughs> Superhero what? Suppose. Suppose. Okay. So, you know you have this. Super. All right. Super hombre. Okay, so here you have super. What is super? Super duper. What would super be? We've talked about superlative before. Okay, but well, we're talking about adjectives and stuff. Okay, so superlative, super. The most. The most, the greatest. Okay, so Superman is the strongest man. Right? Mighty Mouse <laughs> is the strongest mouse. Okay, so super. So this is to show superiority. As in greatest, best, etc. The biggest, the best, the greatest, the largest, the greenest. So superlative, superlative in English, you usually ended up in an EST. 
Yes. So write that one down and figure it out.
It's a little darker, that's all. But it's all right. Okay, so what do we have? It's got the first word here. Halak. 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 So everyone say halak. 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 Give it to me. Hey. Next one? Me. 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 Hayid. Everyone? Hayid. Hayid. Don't forget. Don't, don't forget. Remember that the reish is from the back of the throat. Hayid. So try to try to roll your tongue from the back. The ayin is silent. So you have halak mean hayid. Everyone, halak mean hayid. Again, halak mean hayid. All right. So halak should be familiar to you. Like halakha. Like halakha. Very good. What? Okay. Basically, what you have said is he walked, he understood, walked from the city. The city. Or out of the city. Either one. So, this is an example of mean as an independent preposition. From the city. That's your prepositional phrase. Mean kaif. That's your prepositional phrase. This is your preposition. Mean from ha. Um, definite article the it object of the preposition. City. So, this is, this is the general way in which mean is used, in which mean would occur. Um, notice that, as in English, as in Spanish, that the preposition comes directly before. So you have the preposition and then you have the prepositional phrase, you have the object of the preposition. So you have the same thing taking place here. Mm -hmm. 
if it is a if it is a a, a definite noun, there oftentimes will be a a uh, There will be the dash. With, with the hey still? Yes. <coughs> with the, with the, with this this would be um, a definite noun. Remember that in Hebrew, definite nouns are with the hey, the ha, the, the city. Indefinite would be what? A, anyone. So if, if it is definite, then oftentimes you're going to have the makef there, joining it together. So if I said Here it is. In what form? As a as a inseparable. Very good. It's a prefix, correct? You drop. You here. You have right here. This is the preposition. Note here. Okay. Just a man. And then <coughs> the X. If you remember, X stands for any consonant. So what's the next consonant? Another man. Okay, so just the prefix, how would you say? Me. Me. Okay, and now what do you have? Melech. Melech. Okay, Melech means? King. So, me means what? Notice that there is there is no hey, okay? So there is no it's not a yes it's not a, a definite article. If there is no definite article, it's understood to be indefinite. So it could be from any key. <coughs> so this is called what an inseparable. Not all letters take dagesh. If it's a letter that takes a dagesh, um, what does the dagesh do? You remember the dagesh is the dot. Uh, for example, in the bank here in the ka. Okay. So what does the dagesh do? Makes it hard. Okay. So one of the rules concerning the dagesh has to do with the preposition me. When, for example, I have here, I have the me attached as a prefix, as an inseparable. The next consonant, if it is able to take a dagesh, it takes a dagesh. So the melek would take a dagesh. That means you hit the second M part. Yes. Melek. Melek. 
ממלט. White, white letters, white letters do not take a dung edge. Okay, the olive does not take a dung edge. Put them over here. The olive does not take a dung edge. Why does the olive not take a dung edge? Because it's silent. Because it's silent. Okay, so that will, that will tell you another letter. Ayin does not take a dung edge because it is also silent. I don't think I've seen it in the stomach either. In the what? The stomach has it? Yes, it can. Okay. There are only two other letters that do not take, that they never take a nugget. The UK. The UK. It's always up. It's Gavro means from the back of the mouth, where the letters form from the back. The reason why Ayin and, and Aleph are considered Gavro is because they actually did have a sound. And in fact, I believe it is in Yemen. Uh, in, in Yemenite Hebrew, they still make a sound, but it is very difficult to make. In, in the, in the, they, so they want to be the Reish? They say that. They say that. Um, Salud. They say that you have to be you have to be born, you have to be raised speaking Yemenite Hebrew in order to make the sound. It's, it's very difficult to make for, for us to make. So both of these letters. Okay, the hey, no. The last one is the top. Actually, it's not the top. It's the chet. I'm sorry. I'm misreading my notes. Here. It's the chet. I would have taught me a word. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chet. Why? Because the chet. That's as hard as it ever gets, but it doesn't change. So not like the kaf, where it's kaf or kaf. Okay, the sound can be or it can be. Everybody with me? Okay, so the he is always he. It's from the back of the throat, though. The he is always he, but it's from the back of the throat. Okay, so these are the gutturals. So what happens with what happens with the with an inseparable with the inseparable basically the mean goes into contraction form it go, goes into a contraction not like normal but it goes into a contraction not tonight it goes into contraction okay so what do we mean contraction so you have mean what happens it contracts. In what form? In what way? If I'm going to inseparable, this is inseparable, so how has it contracted? It's dropped in Sophie. Okay? So, it simply is this. It drops the nun Sophie. So you go from this to this. When you drop the nuns of feet, then the next letter takes the dagesh, unless it's a guttural. Okay? If it's able to take a dagesh, it'll take the dagesh. So, now you see why. <clears throat> you see so many dageshes in, in the Hebrew. Okay? Because it's it's telling you that this letter is going to harden because you have a prefix to it or something to that effect. Yeah. 
So, everybody got this? Writing all over myself here. Y'all have this, right? I hope. <laughs> So practice, we're going to put together mean. Can you read those? Got it? Yep. How are we doing? Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so to make this an inseparable, what are you going to do? Drop the new, put it at the beginning, and then this will take the dug edge. Okay? It's as simple as that. So you simply go me. <coughs> me. <coughs> me. <coughs> the bait already has the dug edge in it. So you have me, Makom. Everyone, me, Makom. Which means? From a place. From a place, very good. This one? How do you say it? Mimelik. We already had this one. Mimelik, everyone. Mimelik. Everyone? Mimelik. Meaning? From a king. Next we have? Mibai. Mibai. Okay. Mibai, which means? From a house. Everyone say Mibai. Me. Now there's two ways that this is pronounced. Yadin yod. Okay, basically that's what yadin yod. And either one is correct. Well, yad is is Sephardic usually. Sephardic yod uh, in Ashkenaz. This. Form this this verb of uh, this verb. This vowel acts as either an A or an O. Okay? So uh, that's why, for example, you have this word here. Okay, so what's that word there? Shabbat. Shabbat. Everyone say Shabbat. 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 Say it again. Shabbat. Shabbat. Okay, so you see it? S H A B B A T. Okay, Shabbat. Okay, in Ashkenaz, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. So in this, thank you. In this, Shabbat. In Ashkenaz, they're going to say Shah-os. Why? Because this letter takes that form, the Tav takes that form. They don't say base, they say base. Base, bris. The Tav, if the Tav in Ashkenaz, if the Tav comes at the end of a word, then it's an Isset. Das, yeah. Das, das. Huh? Das, das. Das, yes. Any, any, any place where the where the top comes at the end of the word, it changes to an S. <laughs> where they came from, I don't know. Okay, that's just their pronunciation of Yes? Going back to um, the first one, mi makom. Mi makom. So, now, normally if you just said makom, the second syllable would be accented. Makom. You're still going to, you, the syllable, this last syllable is still going to be the emphasis unless you have the double E like this one here. Melik. Even with the Yes, yes. Mimako. 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 Mipayit. Miyot. Okay. Mimelik. Because you have to all it's doing is making you, making sure that you're hitting this, that you're not shorting this consonant. Okay? So you make sure that you hit that consonant with some force, with some emphasis. Mimako. And I'll have to study, there may be something else going on there. But 
That's what I understand. What does the last name mean? From a hen? Yes, from a hen. Sorry. All of these, by the way, should be this because it's understood. Okay, so what this is saying here is that the that the Dagesh is compensating for your loss of the moon. So you haven't really lost the moon. It's just not there. These cannot take, because these do not cannot take the Dagesh, so I'm, I'm not sure the, about the race here. These cannot take the Dagesh, and so you lengthen the prefix, you lengthen the sound of the prefix. So you notice that me, me is rather short, me. Everyone say me, me. as opposed to me. The me, the A sound is stretched out. <coughs> So if you have a, a guttural, then you're going to have, it will look like this. And it can be with this or it can be with the makef. So if you have for example for example if you have Adam. Okay? So you're going to say from Adam. Like we all came from Adam. So it would go. The B, you drop the drop the nuns of feet, change to that. Me. So you don't put the dash. You can put the dash. You can put them with this. But it doesn't have to have them like Okay, we're going to stop there. Next week we're going to take up the comparative, the superlative, and the partitive. Okay. So this will give you some things to look at over the week. I hope that you're practicing and looking over these things. So we'll be back in, in a couple of minutes. What Evie was wanting was prayer requests, which 